Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. Today we're going to talk about magic slang. I think this is episode 5. I'm not sure. But we are going to talk about three more words magic players use that if you're new to magic or have never been a part of the scene, you might not know what they mean. I enjoy making these videos uh, for, you know, those people that are wanting to get into competitive magic. Um, so uh, here we go. First off, this is a word I use a lot, and this is sandbag or sandbagging. And that's basically holding on to cards that, you know, you could probably justify playing right now. That, you know, you could probably justify playing right now. For example, if you're trying to get your opponent to overextend into a board wipe, like a Supreme Verdict or a Sunfall or whatever in your hand, maybe you sandbag that card. Maybe you wait one more turn for them to play a few more creatures and then cast the board wipe. That's sandbagging. Or on the exact opposite side, maybe you're the creature deck and you're really worried about your opponent having some sort of board wipe. Maybe you don't play a few more creatures and just jam in and force your opponent to have a board wipe. That is also sandbagging. This term kind of comes from this idea of sandbag slowing something down or dragging something down. And that's the idea. You're slowing down the casting of your spells. The second term that we're going to talk about is a bear. Not that kind of bear. The kind of bear that is a tutu. Vanilla tutus for two are called bears. Sometimes tutus are just called bears because the, the term is a little loose. Sometimes tutu for twos that are not vanilla are called bears. You know, again, the, the term's really loose, but really a bear is a vanilla tutu for two. And this comes from one of the original vanilla tutus for two, a grizzly bear. Everything is compared to that card. Um, if it is a vanilla tutu for two, it is a grizzly bear, like the magic card grizzly bear. And then the third term we're going to talk about are bombs. So bombs are, it's normally in the context of limited, but essentially a bomb is a must answer card. It is a card that is played that will win the game if you do not answer it. And the thing about bombs is that like, bombs are normally like maybe a little unexpected from your opponent. So normally the term bombs aren't using constructed. You kind of understand what your opponent's trying to do. But playing a bomb in limited is a really, really big deal. And that comes from real life bombs, right? It's something that once it is in play, it is really hard to survive. And those are the three Magic the Gathering slang terms I wanted to talk about in this video. If you enjoy videos like this, please be sure to like and subscribe. Check me out on social media. Links are above me and in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.